Hi there, signs of Virgo. This is Kim here to do your messages. I promise I will um, get these signs in order um, after this set. Um, they just kind of got out of order, but uh, yeah, after this set, they'll be back in the normal order. So, all right. <clears throat> so asking that your spirit guides and your angels join us because these messages are always for your most high using the good tarot. And we'll pull a Celtic cross for you. And it's a general reading, so it can resonate. However, and if it doesn't resonate, then of course you don't force it to fit. Lots of shuffling, meaning if it's taken me this long to get my focus to the reading for you, then there's something that maybe you're thinking um, long and hard about or contemplating. Or it might be something that's just taking a while. Making mind, making your mind up. That might be taking a while. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the page of earth. Page of earth is about investments. And, and to me, it's about uh, wise investments. It's on the material realm. It has to do with, um, well, it has to do with making money and providing the safety and security and, that you need, you know, for family. So full energy. Ace of Fire as the challenge. Queen of Earth. Ten of Earth is past energy. Four of Water is the now moment. Let me make sure everything's in view. Oh, how pretty. I love these cards. They always show up so pretty on here. Um, two of Water. I'm gonna put that like that. Okay, so that's why. Oh, okay. So, like I said, there's this feeling that I was getting of um, needing to make your mind up, um, be decisive on something, right? Well, you have the five of earth as you, how you're feeling. So. Yeah, and then the king of air. Outcome is five of air and king of air. Um, okay, so yeah, this says this says a whole lot. So the full energy here, well, we'll start in the let's start in the past because in the past is the reason that whatever this investment is, it's the reason you're thinking so long and hard about it, is because in the past things were just really, really good. And it has to do with, um, with like finances being pretty good or family business. It can have to do with that or just the unity and togetherness here of some kind of business venture, right? Yeah. Okay. So come in from that place of knowing that you can succeed and knowing how you've done it in the past. Um, makes this page of earth energy all the more important because you're sitting in the five of earth energy is how you feel you're feeling like an outsider or alone. Um, could be feeling a financial pinch because the five of earth is representing you. This could be anything, you know, representing the, the material realm here. And the four of water is crowning you. So once again, you're, you're really, um, you're thinking a lot and ready for this uh, new beginning with this full energy. And, you know, the full energy is 
really going to take a leap of faith on whatever this new investment is. It seems like. Of course, we'll get clarifying cards. Um, at the heart of the matter or at the, you know, um, at the root of it, whatever the root of it is, it's talking about the queen of earth energy. So it's about, um, not only about like possibly the matriarch or how domestic, um, things are run like the everyday organization, the managerial work or, or the, how the household is run too. E either or with the queen of earth, the queen of earth can do kind of like everything. So if it is here as the heart of the matter, then it is, it is the good decision that's going to lead to a wise investment. And it will because you've got this Queen of Earth energy. And the Queen of Earth energy makes good decisions um, about that, about that stuff. So, so I would be happy that that's in your heart of the matter too. The only thing that in, about this reading is how you're feeling. But you're pulling out of that. So, and you're pulling out of that because you're just in that stage of contemplating what it is you want to do and uh, what decisions you want to make. Because the two of air with the four of water, perfect mix for you to spend some time really thinking about um, what decisions you want to make going forward so that you can come out with a peaceful resolution. Um, because that is, in the end, that's really what everybody wants is um, peace. Uh, the two of water, I love it for your future energy because it has this really nice, um, the goldfish on there or a koi, they might be fancy thin goldfish, but that, that represents, you know, it's auspicious. It represents, um, luck coming or something to come that's really good and fortunate. Um, you have patience in the, what you're thinking about or the temperance energy, it's also number 14, which is two sevens, which is spiritual challenges, but that they can be overcome because there's a little bit of spirituality in whatever new investment this is. The Ace of Fire to me is the challenge, but it's representing this new investment. So I can see this page of earth as the challenge to here with this Ace of, Ace of Fire. That is the new opportunity investment in something like tangible that you can actually hold and have. Okay, so the five of air and the king of air is, is the outcome card, but, um, and we will get clarifying because I don't take reversals uh, with the good tarot, but the, the way that I'm really reading it is no longer being conflicted here um, of how you're gonna go about something because the king of air is very procedural and very like there's certain ways to do things and i think that that's what it's talking about is um whenever you come out of this thinking and and strategizing phase then um you won't be as conflicted on how to do something or how to go about something okay Extra light makes it so hot in here. All right. Yeah, because all you're wanting here is a, a new beginning with this full energy. And you're really wanting to take a leap of faith. So how can we feel better? How do we get that five of earth energy um, in a state where we can... Hmm. where we can feel like we see more hope or see more light and then we're pulling out of a hard time or a hardship. Tell me about this five of earth. What can make this better, um, spirit? Hmm. Okay, the Hierophant in the reverse. Doing something a little bit in a different way. Uh, understanding that you can't treat your feelings like every 
everything else type of it. There's no procedure for how you're feeling here. You just feel how you feel and you work through it. And that might be a little bit of a non-traditional way, but I think that's the advice is to work through this. Hmm. Meaning it, it's trying to give, um, it's trying to say you can do something in your own unique way. and be successful too, even when it maybe doesn't feel like it. Yeah, because there's a page of cups and it's it's a new beginning towards your 10 of earth energy. So it's what you, it's like a hopeful new beginning on achieving something that you already know you can achieve and you can achieve more in fact, right? Okay, um, two of air. Um, I have the death card. And the way that it landed kind of like this, it is this change and transformation. The metamorphosis is the bridge, so to speak, for pulling you out of feeling like it's a hardship. So it's the decisive factor. It has to do with change and transformation. That has to be present. It's the bridge, like I said. And then there's the two of cups on the bottom. See? Okay, and then what do, What can you do with your time with that four of water? What can you do uh, your, or to help you think? Um, of transformation or how, you know, to help you with that. And it kind of felt here. It, it, it has to be a self-initiated change is the message with the, um, with the Knight of Swords, it's in reverse. So it has to be self-initiated, meaning nobody else can do this focus for you. You have to focus for yourself. And I mean, that sounds kind of like, duh, right? But, but yeah, that's the message. All right, and look, here's the other message on the, because we're ending it. On the bottom of the deck is the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So I hope you stayed till the end for this because that's you pulling out of um, whatever funky type of energy that you're feeling right now. It's you um, not feeling that way and being a little bit more optimistic, right? So that's what I got for you. Sending you love and light. Thanks for joining me. Bye, Virgo.